All right, so I'm sure you've heard that uh, JP held a live stream today and they announced Final Fantasy VIII. That's right, so we're finally getting Final Fantasy VIII. It's one of the the more long-awaited ones. Uh, I think people have been begging for Final Fantasy VIII, IX, and maybe XII. Uh, and finally, we're getting VIII. With VIII, they're giving us Squall, Renoa, and Irvin. Squall's going to be 100 cost. Renoa's going to be free. And Irvin's going to be, you know, the regular guy. Just a regular dude. Uh, as far as Final Fantasy VIII for me goes, I'm a big fan of Final Fantasy VIII. I loved it back in the day. My favorite characters in Final Fantasy VIII, like, first time I played through the game, I still remember the party I used. I used Squall, Zell, and Irvin. That was my main three. So I'm happy to see Irvin, actually. He doesn't usually get love in uh, these collab games. I'm actually shocked. I personally was thinking that when they finally did a Final Fantasy VIII collab, maybe they were going to throw Squall, Renoa, and Laguna since Laguna was always the guy in some other games. He was in Dissidia, which is their big collab game. They had Squall, Renoa, and Laguna there. Plus, his theme song is just amazing, and I would love to have that in this game, but uh, maybe that'll be for another time. However, the bad guy for this collab is actually Cypher, so if we do get a Final Fantasy VIII rerun down the line, uh, we're more than likely going to get Cypher, but that's for another day. For now, we're getting Squall, Renoa, and Irvin. Looking forward to it. Uh, Squall is Lightning, which is going to pair him up with some of the other pro tags in this franchise. We got Squall, Cloud, and Lightning now that are the main characters that are also Lightning. I think it's interesting that Squall is Lightning. Um, that being said, I think it's cool. I love that he's got some... We know he has at least one multi-hit. Uh, I don't know his full kit, obviously. I don't think anyone does yet. But uh, for me, I'm a big PvE fan, right? I'm a big PvE player that's Guild Raids, Trials of Reckoning, and all that kind of stuff. And one thing that can make or break if a character is super useful in PvE or not, this obviously isn't the only thing, but having multi-hits. A lot of times you gotta do the most damage or try to score the most points you possibly can. And one of the biggest key factors in that is chaining and multi-hit. So I hope that Squall has more multi-hits than Lightning does. I think her only multi-hit was in her LB, so it made her not super great for those kinds of events, sadly. I hope that Squall has at least one other multi-hit multi in his kit outside of just his LB. Um, but if not, he's still going to be a super cool character, and I'm going to try to get him regardless. Now second up, we have Renoa, who is an Earth-based character, and she is free. So she's going to be the freebie. Um, she's Earth. I did read a Reddit comment. I don't know, I didn't, you know, I don't speak Japanese, so I don't really understand what was happening on the stream and stuff, but there was a comment on Reddit that said that they mentioned she was going to be geared toward non-mono element type teams, so I'll, I'm really interested to see how that works out, if that's true. Like, she is Earth, so I'm sure, of course, she's going to do great with Earth teams, but I'm, I'm uh, curious how that's going to work with her and non-element teams. Like, is this going to be a new mechanic or something? I don't know, but we'll have to wait and see if that's a true... Thing on that comment I read um, yeah and then we have Irvin the, the man with the gun now this guy as a kid he always reminded me of Shawn Michaels the heartbreak kid just because of the cowboy hat because of the long hair the brown hair whatever it he really reminded me of Shawn Michaels back then and I don't really know why other than just those things but uh, yeah I always got Shawn Michaels vibes from him and I always thought that was really cool I loved him I think I've used it probably in most of my playthroughs which is weird you know, it's it's interesting because I never I never really favorited the girls in that game, which is weird because I think in other games they have really like appealing and strong women characters. But in eight, for some reason, I always just went with Irvin and I thought Zell was the coolest thing ever the first time I played through the game. I'm not sure I used him really on future playthroughs. I don't know why I liked Zell so much the first time through, but I actually in Final Fantasy XI when uh, the, that was the MMO. When that game first came out, I based my character off of Zell. I like tried to recreate Zell almost. Like I made my character look exactly like Zell, and I was a monk, so I was punching, and yeah. So that was a little fun fact, Final Fantasy VIII related as well, which has nothing to do with this collab because Zell's not in it. But yeah, um, I do like Irvin more than Zell though. He's just Zell's just an easier generic looking character to create in a game. Now, all that being said, I do want to point out that for JP. This collab ends on September 30th, and now for worldwide version, this whole like worldwide crunch that we've been in for a while now, that is also supposed to end at the end of September. So when this ends for JP is right when the like worldwide thing ends. So I think 
This is just a hunch, obviously. There's not any info for this coming out in global yet. But I really think that this will be what's going to kick off the Worldwide Edition. And I think, because they did say we're going to be still like one month behind JP. So they're going to basically be done with it right then, right when we start it. So we'll be one month behind then. Um, and I think the timeline adds up there. Of course, like I said, this is all just speculation, but it makes sense. And uh, I really, truly think that's what it's going to be. Additionally, last year, right at the end of September, um, I believe it was the 21st or so, that's when we got the Final Fantasy 13 collab, which was the 2.5 anniversary. So although this might not be marketed as the global 3.5 anniversary, it does fall in line almost exactly with the 3.5 anniversary since the game came out at the end of March. Now the end of September is or would be the 3.5 anniversary for global. So I, again, I don't think it's going to be marketed that way. But for people that might be worried about us getting like shafted out of a 3.5 anniversary because of the worldwide, this might actually be that or at least the equivalent to that. It might have the same kind of reward systems, the same kind of event. It, we know it's got the collab, assuming that it comes out at that time for global. Well what is called global now it won't be called global then but you know what i mean so uh yeah that's that i'm not actually sure if jp ever normally had like a big collab at this time jp's actual anniversary is in november so this isn't gonna like replace that or anything either if anything this is more getting pushed for them because i also think final fantasy 8 i could be wrong on this but i think final fantasy 8 might be bigger or might have been more popular in the West than it was in JP, but I could be completely wrong on that. But they do always seem to shaft Final Fantasy VIII in these mobile games a lot, where they'll come out way later, or they won't have as big of an event, or something like that. So I'm thinking that this might be geared more towards the global side, or, you know, the global audience. I could be wrong, this is all just speculation. That being said, I hope that the Final Fantasy VIII thing doesn't get like shafted at all due to not being part of a big anniversary. You know, like now if we get Final Fantasy IX, for example, on the JP anniversary, are they going to have all kinds of bells and whistles and festivities that Final Fantasy VIII might not get? Um, but maybe not, maybe it'll all be the same and maybe this will be equal to a normal collab. So far it seems like it's going to be equal. We're getting the free unit, you know, the two other units. And uh, I'm looking forward to it, honestly. I love Final Fantasy VIII. It's always been one of my favorite games. Just favorite games, period. Not even just Final Fantasy. It's one of my favorite games. So I love that about it. We know two of the vision cards, um, Squall and Irvin, are on the pictures. So it looks like Renoa might not be getting a vision card. But I'm sure there will be some kind of like Esper or Elemental thing. Or maybe not Element, because we're into the job-based cards now, right? So some kind of job-based card that will come out around the same time as her that she'll be uh, able to benefit from. It just might not be part of the collab. And that being said, I'd say there's also a very strong chance that within the following weeks, there will be a Trial of Reckoning. Um, not guaranteed, because, you know, with the worldwide version, they might be changing stuff up and they might be changing up those formulas as well. But so far, every main game collab other than Final Fantasy 1, I, I think, has had a Trial of Reckoning. And I'm not talking about tactics either. So like um, Final Fantasy 4, 5, 6, 7, 13, 15... I'm probably forgetting one or two, but they've all had Trials of Reckoning. Anyways, I think that's gonna be about it for this video. I don't normally make videos like this, but I'm super stoked and super pumped about Final Fantasy VIII. And uh, I've been thinking about it all day. I saw these um, videos and stuff earlier this morning and I was just, it's been in my head, man. It's been in my head. <laughs> Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments or you can join the Discord. I'll have a link to the Discord as well down there. And uh, yeah, we got a super cool community. Uh, if anybody wants to join in on that, just come and hang out. And uh, yeah, other than that, I'll be live. I stream on Twitch every day. I stream War of the Visions every Wednesday. And so yeah, I will see you guys when I see you. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And yeah, have a great day.